Hey, this is Micah from Epium, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple logo using Photoshop. The logo I'm demonstrating today is a logo for my sister, who is also a photographer in Maui, Hawaii. She wanted something straight to the point with a simple design, and this is what we came up with. The first thing I'm going to do is make a new document. The dimensions that we're using are 3000 by 3000 by 300. The reason we are using such large dimensions is because since we're not using Illustrator for this, we want to make sure that the logo is somewhat scalable. We can't really go any larger with it to an extent, but we can go a lot smaller and it will fit nicely on most photos. We are going to select the rectangle tool and start making our rectangle or box. Then we are going to highlight our shape, double click it and hit stroke and choose a color. We're going to use a soft pink for this. That looks good. Adjust the size so that we can see approximately how big it is. Select position inside so the edges are sharper. Readjust the size. Hit OK. Then we're going to change the fill down to 0% so the rectangle disappears. We're going to create a new layer. Merge these layers together so that it's easier to edit. We're going to hit M for marquee. I'm going to make a little box here and delete it and then deselect it. Type T for text. We're going to type KC, my sister's photography company. Font size is about 350, and the color we want to be the same as the outside box. Select V and move the text so that it aligns with the other layer. Now we want to group these together so that we can edit them later if we need to. We're going to copy the group so that we can merge the group with a new layer to make the logo a transparent layer by itself. And you can see that now we have the original files, but we also have a combined file that we can export as a transparent PNG to watermark our photos. I made sure to leave the history tab open so that you can see all of the steps we took to create this logo so that if you need to go back and match up your steps with our steps to make sure that you did it correctly. That's it for this tutorial. We thank you for watching and hope that you subscribe to Epium and watch us for future tutorials and short films and other fun stuff. Thanks!